Somebody unfreeze it again. Okay, and then just twist it back towards me so I can kind of see what's going on for a second. And then what I would recommend, you can actually see that really well, so kind of, guys kind of rotate around behind me and when you've seen it for a while, then rotate back the other way. I'm going to, I'm going to scan the uterus and for the pregnancy and then I'm also going to scan the ovaries so you can see what a follicle looks like, okay? <coughs> There we go. So there we're going in over the bladder. Okay. And then right in here we start getting the uterus. Can you see how there's kind of a round, a round, can you see the round thing? If somebody keep their head over that, the person who had their head over there, keep it there. Yeah, so you can film it. There you go. See how you can see like, you see how it's got, it's round, it's got edges all around this screen? That's My looking bad. at a cross section through the whole uterus on the left horn. Now I'm going up the little horn, you see how it went away? And here's a follicle. Look at the size of this follicle that she had. See that? That's, a, that's her left ovary and it's got a pretty big follicle on it. Which is normal, I'll talk about that. Mares continue to have follicles, they can actually come into heat when they're pregnant because they produce uh, estrogens and for years we had Primarin mares that urine was collected off because they produce all this extra estrogen and was used for replacement for uh, post-menopausal uh, women, right? So, I don't know if you've talked about that story, but we'll talk about that today. But that's one of, one of the kinds of uses that they kept mares for. So, there's the, so this is the right horn. Look at the right horn here, people that can see it. Rotate around if you haven't seen it. Everyone, keep moving so you can come and see it. But you see, look at the right horn. Look how there's fluid in it. And those are the endometrial folds. Now I'm coming down the horn. And I've got to go okay, in. She's deep old <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She's like, how much longer? There's, there's where the pregnancy That's where the pregnancy is, way in there. Have to go around on the other side. Come on, baby. I'm gonna keep the sun out of it. I can't see it at all with the sun. Probably like in the morning. Ew. Oh, no. <laughs> you know. Okay, so that's the best picture right there if you guys want to look of the, of the whole pregnancy. Nope, don't freeze it. I just want to show you that. You see, that's all fluid there of the, of the, and there's the, there's the baby. It's bouncing around actually. <laughs> see this? What? I'm holding dead still. Look in the left hand corner. That's the baby bouncing around right there. See? Oh, I see it. See, that's actually the baby bouncing around. I'll <coughs> get it. There it is. Look, there's the baby, real clear now. There, right there. See? There, see there it kicked out of the way. I didn't move at all. There's the baby on the right hand corner. Moving in, probably lying on its back. You see that? Mm -hmm. And there it is, just bouncing around. Because we're messing around in here, it kind of stimulates them, and, and it's basically kicking around. There, it just gave a real good kick. Look, move all the way out of the way. Look at all that. I'm holding completely still right now. So we'll move over and try to find where it went over this side a little bit. There's the umbilical cord in the very bottom. Which button is it? I don't know. Shouldn't tell me. There you go. There's the baby again. There we go. I don't know if we're looking on top of the bed or what we're doing there. What's the part of it? Just came up and tapped my finger right there. That's part of the umbilical cord going up. You see it? Yeah, I see it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's go up one more time and look at the ovary. That's there's a huge follicle. You could freeze that um, for me now, Jeanette. Okay. Cool. All right. Did everybody that wanted to get look get enough of a look?